Hey guys, and welcome to this video. On today's video, I'm going to talk about interviews that Brian Johnson did a couple months ago about his hero struggles. And I will talk about uh, what he said on the interview, but I also will talk about time factor, age factor, and a couple other things such as online problems, and how you can address them and basically improve odds of regrowing your own hair. And uh, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe so you get notification about the latest content that I upload. And if you're new or a subscriber, welcome back. My name is Alex, and I'm previously a last sufferer who was able to regrow back my own hair. And I'm also a certified trichologist. So in today's video, I want to talk about Brian Johnson interviews that he did a couple of months ago. And in this interview, he made some interesting points. Like one of them was that he finds it uh, challenging, and also that it is a very annoying problem for him. And it's a, a guy who has a lot of resources, right? So basically he is famous for his anti-aging treatment with a bl blueprint method. Uh, but still he finds that hair loss is something that is a big challenge for him, right? And it requires a lot of attention and he has to work very hard to keep his hair. And it is something that, uh, as you know, guys, from my videos, you have seen that I even had issues last year with my hair because I did things wrong. So it is a valid point that hair loss requires a lot of attention. It is not just about applying minoxidil, taking finasteride or other DHT blocker. There is a lot more to the hair loss, right? Because when you are having hair loss, let's say you have adrenergic alopecia, what happens is that follicles become much weaker compared to someone who doesn't have this problem. Right, so basically when the follicles become much weaker, then they become much easier affected by any imbalance in the body, by for example diet, food, stress, lifestyle, gut problems, sleep, right? Uh, basically all, all those things have much bigger impact uh, when the follicles are in the weak state, either because of other genetic alopecia or inflammatory problems or microinflammatory problems. What happens is the follicles uh, become weak and then they much easier get affected by those uh, factors that unbalance the hair cycle, right? And this is a problem, right? And basically for me, what I learned from last year or what I want to share basically from my experience last year is that uh, the hair itself, like the treatment itself, it's something that can help you to recover the hair, yes. But at the same time, if you have those online problems and you don't solve them, then the treatment becomes much less effective. But if you do solve those online problems, what happens is the treatment becomes effective again and you can gain, gain back the hair. Like, for example, if you compare to last year when I had those issues myself, for example, with the hair loss, uh, what happened is that I was able to recover to this stage here, right? And I didn't change my treatment, I just addressed the online problems that was causing the issue. And if you wonder about my online str struggles or problems I was having last year, you can check previous videos. I spoke in se about those problems in several of them. You can check them up. I will add uh, uh, thumbnails so that you can find them. And uh, basically, when I address those online issues that I was having, uh, I was able to recover my hair. And I didn't change my minoxidil formulation. Like, I still use 5% minoxidil. I still take finasteride, right, and same amount of it. So I didn't step it up a stronger formulation, a stronger strength of minoxidil, for example, or more aggressive microneedling. I keep it the same, right? Only thing or variable I did was to fix the online problems that was causing the hair loss that I was having back in, uh, for example, 2023. Uh, and the same applies for all other years as well. As Brian Johnson told on his interview, like it is something that does require constant attention. Like hair loss does require a lot of attention, a lot of efforts. But at the same time, if you are having the right steps, the right structure to know what you need to do, uh, you can avoid those problems, right? Like basically, if you know how to make your follicles strong, it will help you to reduce effect from uh, online problems to basically affect the treatment uh, and cause hair shedding or uh, stop the progression or uh, basically stop the treatment to work, right? So if you know the right steps and if you know how to address those problems, then you can recover from those online issues and you can make your follicles strong so they are more robust and able to actually uh, not as easily be affected by those online issues. Because we all can do problem, or we all can do um, mistakes in the treatment, right? That's uh, quite common, right? Like uh, even I do mistakes in treatment, right? If I'm not 100% uh, diligent about my hair situation uh, and I do some mistakes, uh, I can have a shedding. Like ex especially if you look, like I said in my previous video from 2023, you can see that I had some struggles there. But when you know uh, how to address those problems, when you can define them and find out what is basically right approach for them, you can recover your hair, right? And now when I'm almost 40, like in a couple more months, I will be 30 this year. 
on I still have my hair, right? Uh, I still have my hair, unlikely I will be able to improve my hair even more if I keep avoiding the variables that cause that my hair gets affected by something. And uh, I don't see a reason why hair, for example, would start to suddenly shed out or the treatment would start to become less effective as a lot of, for example, guys have a concern about the treatment would stop to be effective after a couple of years. If for me, uh, if you watch uh, my videos for the last seven years, you can see that I have those struggles. I have those downs from time to time because I do mistakes, but I'm able always to recover from those mistakes uh, and keep treatment effective. Right? So, so basically the point here is that keep your hair cycle strong, make sure that you are not DHT sensitive, not just block DHT, but actually work on your lifestyle, your diet, gut health, to making sure that you are as little DHT sensitive as possible, making sure that your scalp is healthy, uh, making sure that your gut is functioning well and you are avoiding trigger foods, for example, or limit them. Um, and also making sure basically that you are approaching your lifestyle in terms of keeping it healthy in general. Uh, and those things will help you basically to, to keep treatment effective. And also uh, as time goes by, your follicles will get stronger as well, right? I mean, if your follicles get stronger, then they will less likely be affected by, for example, online problems. So this is something I want to share in today's video for you guys. And for you guys who struggle with the hair loss, uh, and if you need help and guidance with your situation, uh, you can schedule a call below this video. There's a link for it. Let's talk and see what you can do right now to solve your hair loss once and for all. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and see you next time. Cheers.